Kids in the Law Topic Emancipation Legally speaking, emancipation is that point in time when parents are no longer responsible for their children and children no longer have to answer to their parents. They also no longer have to provide their child with support or necessities such as food, shelter, and medical care. This means that your minor child does not have to be responsible to you and may live wherever he or she wishes. In addition, an emancipated minor can make his or her own medical, dental, and psychiatric care decisions. An emancipated youth also may, for example, enter into a contract, sue and be sued in his or her own name, make or revoke a will, buy or sell interest in property, and apply for a work permit without parental consent. At the same time, the minor's parents lose control over his or her earnings. The minor must instead take care of his or her own affairs. In California, an emancipated minor's identification card or driver's license can state his or her emancipated status. Myth some kids believe that they can divorce their parents or seek emancipation without their parents' permission. The truth, however, is that kids cannot unilaterally divorce their parents. In California, emancipation occurs automatically under certain circumstances. For example, as soon as a person turns 18, he or she legally becomes an adult and is emancipated. When minors get married, they become emancipated from their parents. Emancipation also occurs if a minor is on active duty with the armed forces. In addition, a minor may become emancipated in California with a petition to the courts. In such instances, the minor at least 14 years of age must state that he or she would like to be emancipated and is willing to live separate and apart from his or her parents or guardian. The minor must be able to prove that this decision was made voluntarily and that he or she has parental consent or acquiescence to manage his or her own financial affairs. The minor must explain to the court how much money he or she makes and how future expenses will be handled, including the cost of rent, clothes, food, and entertainment. Before the petition is heard, the minor's parents, guardian, or other person entitled to custody must be notified, unless the minor can show that their address is unknown or that notice cannot be given for some reason. Also, a judge must find that it is in the minor's best interests to become emancipated. If circumstances change after the emancipation order has been granted, court has the power to rescind the order and notify the minor's parents. Note running away from home is not a legitimate way of becoming emancipated. Nor can parents simply abandon their responsibilities by forcing their children out of the home. In such situations, children may acquire the right to determine their place of residence and make certain other decisions without losing their right to parental support. See Parents' Rights and Responsibilities The next episode we will discuss the next topic from Kids and the Law. My name is Thalia LeChamp. Join us again for the next lesson under Bridges, Transitioning the Youth into Adulthood.